What's up guys? So I was going through one of my favorite books of all time, Meditations by the groovy emperor himself, Marcus Aurelius. And I stumbled across one of my favorite quotes, which doesn't get a lot of um, recognition, but is quite deep. So I'm going to share that with you and let's discuss about it. Now, Marcus Aurelius said, both the longest lived and the earliest to die suffer the same loss. It is only the present moment of which either stands to be deprived. And if indeed this is all he has, he cannot lose what he does not have. Now, if you really think about that, I quote, that's... It's, it's some deep shit. And um, Marcus Aurelius is saying, well, my interpretation of the quote is that it doesn't matter how long you live, right? The shortest lived, 10 years old. The longest lived, 90 years old, 100 years old. All that we actually have to lose in life is the present moment when we die. Because the present moment is all that is real. Sure, a lot of people say the past is real, right? Of course it's real. You've experienced it. But is it really? When you recall memories, we know for a fact that everything changes. Things are changed based off your subjective experience and based off how many times you've recalled that memory and changed it, right? Or the future is just a projection of what you think is going to happen in your mind, right? So that's not real. So the past, these memories that you have of things that have happened that have been skewed with your perception and the future, these predictions that you have, which are most likely not even going to occur, those two things are not as real or cannot be compared to what you're experiencing right now. What you're experiencing right now, the present moment, is as real as you can get. This is what life truly is. So, it's not about how long you live, but about how present you are. And if you think about it, try remember... I always tell people to do this exercise. Try remember what you did yesterday, right? You might remember getting up in the morning. You might remember making your breakfast, commuting to work, maybe little conversation you have with someone, right? You might remember a few things, right? Fair enough. But you're not going to remember the whole day, right? Okay, let's go further back. Try to remember what you did around this time two to three years ago. Just a random day. You probably won't remember anything you did that day. Or you might remember one thing that you did that day. One vignette, one snapshot of something that you did, right? So, in life, what I've noticed is our memories only remember select things. A huge chunk of life that we experience, 95% maybe, or maybe even 99%, literally gets deleted, literally goes into the ether, it gets forgotten. It's almost as if you didn't live that day, right? So here is where the key is. If you weren't present that day, and you don't remember that day, did you really live that day? Presence brings meaning to life. Any experience that you had where you actually remembered, where the memory is vivid, where it's stuck in your head and you can taste it during that experience you were very present right think of if you're a parent to the birth of your child right or the day you got your first kiss or the day you're in a car accident things like that things that are out of the ordinary we tend to remember because they force us into presence they force us into the now so we remember those events but mundane things that we do water in the garden eating breakfast we don't remember those things because when we're doing those things we're not even focusing on the present moment we're in our heads so if you want to have more substance in your life if you want to be 80 years old and look back and remember a lot of things and have meaning in your life you need to learn to be more mindful you need to learn to be more present to respect the present moment more right because the present moment is all that we have is all that we can be deprived of if you're constantly in your head constantly living in the dream world of the past and the speculations of the future, of course you're not going to remember those events, right? And yeah, your life's going to be this big void of select things. So that's what I think the quote's all about. Marcus Aurelius is highlighting the importance of presence. So it's not about how long you live, it's about how present you are. I'd rather live 30 years of presence, of mindfulness, than 80 years of unconscious, just kind of forgetting everything, going where the wind pushes me, right? You gotta live with the intention of living. Anyway guys, that's the video for today. Um, make sure you pick up Marcus Aurelius' Mindfulness. I'm gonna put a little cheeky affiliate link in the description where you can get this from Amazon, of course. Cheeky, cheeky little affiliate link. Um, 
this book is gold. I haven't even read the whole thing, to be honest with you. Like, I've just been going through it over the years, just reading little lines here and there. And there's always something new to learn. It's it's just full of goodies, man. Like, does it get any better than this? Like, I'll just flip to a random page. Let's see, what's this say? Let any external thing that so wishes happen to those parts of me which can be affected by its happening. And they, if they wish, can complain. I myself am not yet harmed unless I judge the occurrence something bad and I can refuse to do so. It's all about perception. So pick that up. Good stuff. And I'm going to be making more videos in the future. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Peace.